Welcome to Cinematic Sundays, and today, we look at the bright side. Welcome to Cinematic Sundays, I'm your host, Jamie Doyle. I haven't seen you guys in forever. I've been procrastinating a second episode for so long, you don't even know. And today, we're going to talk about my little friend, his name is Light. So, we're going to do some experiments with lighting. Um, I know there was, there was one scene that I did that had particular, uh, very nice lighting in particular. That was a scene from a video that I didn't actually post. Um, mainly because I never got around to finishing it, and that was Running From Myself Episode 2. I may still have it on my camera, I'll see if I can find it um, and show it to you guys. If so, it'll probably be inserted here. No? Okay. And, um, yeah, so today we're going to do some experiments with the lighting. First, I'm going to show you my lighting kit, and then we'll be back, so cut to bumper. So, my lighting kit is pretty standard. It consists of three softbox lights, one with a single bulb and a very large bulb indeed. This is a CFL. It's the one I used in the intro. It's very bright, and yeah, and then I have two stands like this that are smaller, um, these two are the smaller ones, one thicker stand that I use for a boom pole that hang, usually it's this light on, then two other lights like this, except they have four sockets. Um, and then I, I count my green screen as, uh, I count the green screen as a part of the lighting kit, mainly because it's, it's mostly used with these lights. And then there's also a, um, a work light that I use um, as well. And then I have various um, various bulbs. There's a lot of ways to make light look different, all right? I have a very simple one light, uh, technically two because of my other one, but this is really the only light that's showing because of the exposure setting. But there's a lot of ways to experiment with light. Um, this some ways in particular are I can make it look like there are cars passing by and headlights moving by. If I simply, just by simply rotating the thing, if I can get it steady here, just by simply rotating the light, I can make it look like there are lights continuously passing by. And of course the other one, which is the thing I'm tangled here. And there are some other ways I can do it as well, just by um, rotating it a little bit, I can make it look like thing, look sort of like an, a door being opened, maybe. And you can also do things like have it, if I can again get it to work, uh, you can also make it move in interesting ways up and down, left and right and simulate maybe some things that are, if you have a night scene, a nighttime scene in particular, you can, you can actually make it seem like there are things that are moving in the background that have lights on them. Um, the one scene from Running Myself Episode 2, Running From Myself Episode 2 that I never aired, uh, that I showed you guys, I, I actually used this light, not, well, obviously not as bright of a bulb, but I used this light to simulate light coming from a computer screen that actually wasn't on. So you can essentially use lights to manipulate things, basically. Make, make people see things different. You can also use them to um, make things look different. This light in particular is only lighting up one side of my face. You can't really see that. And it looks a little bit ominous. If I was against maybe a black background or a darker background, I might look a bit scary like this uh, you can't you can't actually see what's in back of me so I do in fact look like a scarier character if you were using this in a film and I will in fact be using this technique 
in some upcoming projects that I have that I'm working on um, that I'm not going to tell you about. I might tell you at the end of the episode, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I trust you. So essentially, if I take this clip of me playing Xbox and add in a light, my light here with a yellow bandana hanging over the front of it, or taped to the front of it, I get something that looks a little bit more like there is a TV or something in the background. You can also add movement or other things in front of your light to make it look like there are, to make shadows run across your face or anything of that sort. Uh, I will not be using an Xbox clip for this because I don't have anybody to wave anything in front of the light, but I will make it look like something is shining on something. I don't know yet. So, sadly, this is the end of this episode. There will be a part two, uh, possibly, coming out next week. I don't really think there's anything else I need to fit in, but there may be some other cinematography things that I might add in. I will be doing rigging next time I come to you, I'd say, possibly. Um, another few things. Um, there will be a bat behind the scenes video. Um, of a project I'm working on. As a matter of fact, that's what the next episode is going to be. The uh, next episode is going to be working on a set, basically. Sorry, I'm just moving the light around because I feel like it. Um, working on a set, how to set things up, encounter problems on a set, stuff like that, because I will be working on a project. I'll be doing some um, cinematography stuff for my friend. Um, here's a perfect example of move, camera movement. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. I'm moving the camera with my feet. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, um, next week's going to be some sort of behind the scenes video where I uh, <laughs> stop moving. Um, where I oh, I lost my train of thought. How dare you! It was all your fault. You, right there. Yep. That was all your fault. Anyway, so yeah, that's the end of this episode. I will be back next week, or the week after. I'm not sure yet. It depends on when we finish the project, when we finish filming behind the scenes stuff. Um, it'll, there'll be a lot of stuff that I'm going to talk about there, because I'm going to be on not a legitimate set. It is going to be filled with a lot of DIY equipment and stuff, because it's a school project he's working on, but he wants it to be as awesome as possible. He really needs to bring his Spanish grade up. I might post it on the the finished product on the channel. He's doing all sorts of special effects stuff, and he's also writing it and um, and acting in it as well. Um, a lot of my friends are acting in it, but it's going to be it's going to be pretty fun. We're actually making a dolly for it. Uh, it's it's going to be pretty cool, and we're actually filming with a G9 that belongs to his grandmother. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. She was a photographer.